guess what? It's almost Groundhog's Day. I'm gonna make a shirt. I'm gonna make a gopher shirt. Not a go, not a gopher, a Groundhog's Day shirt. I ordered this in the mail and um, it says that it is a size medium, but it is actually the, for a, a, ba a like a medium baby or a medium like you know dog is not a human woman size medium. But I'm going to transform this to a groundhog day shirt. So the first thing I have to do is we have to draw a groundhog. Oh, groundhogs are so cute. There's so many pictures. Which one should go on the shirt? Th that one, right? Hmm, so he looks sort of like an egg. Why am I drawing this? I need, what I need to do is draw this on a piece of fabric. I have an enormous supply of groundhog colored felt. I'm gonna use a white crayon. I'm not wasting any of my good colors such as pink or uh, or mint green. Is this gonna be too big or too adorable? Let's cut out our groundhog. What if my uh, what if my mustache was a pair of scissors? Then nobody would ever kiss me again. It would be kind of like right now in real actual life. I like rodents and a groundhog is a rodent. I even saw a real groundhog once at um, an acro cats show, which is a show where they have acrobatic cats. I'm gonna attach the um, feet to the body of the groundhog so that he can claw at um, Christmas trees and flowers and nuts and fruits and buttons. Hmm. That doesn't look that good. That's okay. We need to find buttons that look I like. I have this jar of buttons. And I see things in here that I think are amazing. But that could be like a, a pad of butter on a like a butter themed thing. This is not a useful button. This button, uh, this is a this is it, right? Look at that. It's like a weird grandma jacket groundhog nose waiting to be on my on the body of my hog. Threading a needle is the most erotic activity. It is exactly like sex for me. And yeah, let's celebrate if this rodent you know, if it's a sunny day for the rodent. That makes sense, like that makes more sense than most national holidays for me. Hey, my favorite food is nuts. All I have to do now is attach my adorable groundhog to my purple shirt. Oh, yeah. it's actually, it's like a freaky, freakishly perfect fit. Um, you know, this is the kind of thing you really should pin. And that just is so much work and I don't like pinning. Uh-oh. So, I chose not to pin this and now it needs to, we need to start over. I ripped. I ripped the shirt. This is not a very well made shirt. They missized it for one thing and they made it so that it rips easily when you accidentally tear it with a seam ripper. Oh holy shirt, I didn't mean to rip. You were poorly made, probably in a sweatshop. Why did I buy you in the first 
place. Feel bad about talking about a sweatshop. That's really sad, actually. We can't, shouldn't joke about sweatshops. Ow! <laughs> it's hilarious to act like you're torturing a groundhog. That's so funny. This is it. That's the shirt. I'm going to try it on. We've completed the project of Make a Groundhog Stay shirt. Please remember to celebrate Groundhog Stay because it is the most important holiday. It, um, if, and give your mailman some money if it's your mailman's birthday.